Yes, sir. Good to go. All right, good, e good evening, everybody. So my name is Mitch Aiton with the city of Fort Worth. And this will be our community meeting for Park Vista and Killer Hazlitt intersection improvements. Today is May 16th. And like Jeff said, we've got a pretty short uh, presentation and just hitting over the, the major points of it. And then uh, I'll open it up for questions at the end. Uh, if you haven't muted yet, go ahead and mute. And then there's a chat box that go ahead and ask questions as they come up. And then we'll uh, open it up at the very end for any more questions. So go over the project team, uh, go over the project. It's a pretty, it's not a very large project. And then I'll uh, kind of talk about our construction phasing and what we have planned for what you'll see out there. And then we'll open up the questions at the end. So the project team is myself, Fitch Aiton. Uh, our city inspector will be Travis Overstreet. So if you see a city truck out there, um, that'll probably be Travis out there working with our contractor. And he's awesome. I worked with him a few projects in the past. So y'all got a good one on this job. Uh, our design consultants, Lee Engineering, Bridge Farmer Associates. And then our contractor is XIT Paving and Construction. So the project limits. So uh, y'all probably know the area if you're in this meeting but on the north side of town. And then what we're doing is we're improving the intersection at Killer Hazlitt in Park Vista. This is part of the 2018 bond, came out four years ago. And uh, we had a couple right away issues to work out and some franchise utility relocations, but we're all ready to go now. And then second part of this is uh, for anyone who got involved in voting for the 2022 bond, that was last week. Park Vista Boulevard, just to the south, is on that bond package. So we're in the middle of selecting a consultant to start on the design for that. And you'll probably see that project. It'll go a lot faster than it took to get this one to construction. So probably about a year after we're wrapping up this intersection, you'll start seeing the arterial to the south coming to construction if not sooner. So anyone who's driven out there today, you know, it's got the full concrete road to the north of the intersection. It's got three lanes going south, but they're all striped off, or one of them striped off, and you have to cross over the intersection to get to southbound. So as part of this intersection of what we're going to do with this project, we're going to go ahead and rebuild the, the intersection to what it's supposed to be uh, for the ultimate design. You're going to have left turn lanes coming off Keller Hazlitt Road in each direction, three lane each way. And then the five lane section that you see coming south, we're going to go ahead and build the concrete to go ahead and match that on the south side. But we're going to stripe off part of it. You can kind of see that going on here that we'll go ahead and build the concrete but we're going to stripe it off to keep it to one lane going north, one lane coming south. You'll have a left turn lane. And then this will all be asphalt to match Killer Hazlitt. It's out there today. And then as I was alluding to before, when Park Vista gets built from our 2022 bonds that was passed last week, that this will go to a full four lane section coming south. You'll have a left turn lane coming up. So it'll look similar to what's on the north side of the intersection today. And then we'll redo all the strapping. And you'll have two lanes going north, two lanes coming south, you'll have a turn lane, each direction on Park Vista. And then Killer has a little, it'll stay the same way after we build our intersection. It'll have a left turn lane each way. And then uh, some through, uh, that's one through lane for each approach. And then we're gonna control the intersection with the traffic signal. So you see out there today, there's stop signs. Uh, we'll have a, when we're done with our intersection project, the traffic signal will be up and operational. Uh, there's a chance that we get the pavement done quickly and traffic signal poles haven't been delivered yet. Uh, we're experiencing delays with that on some projects with uh, COVID and all that fun stuff. So. 
there is a chance you see stop signs put up for a couple months, but the traffic signal will be done as part of the project in the end. And what we're looking at for duration on the project is we've got 10 months for the contractor to go ahead and build it. Uh, we looked at a couple different ways of handling this project and potentially shutting down the intersection. Uh, so we were looking at 10 months to do a phasing, and I'll explain the phasing in a second. And we looked at potentially shutting down the intersection. Uh, that was going to take about six months. So we decided to just go ahead and keep it up so we can phase it. Construction will take a little longer, but it won't take away an avenue for some of y'all to get out of your neighborhood. Because we do know there's a railroad off to the east at 377, and sometimes you'll get caught over there. So what we're proposing, it's going to be about six phases of construction. North-south traffic, we're able to keep one lane of traffic going each direction. But just because the killer has a road, and if you're driven at, you can see it's kind of a tight corridor. Uh, that's going to go down to one-way traffic, and we're proposing to have it go eastbound. So if any of y'all try to avoid the railroad, you still will be able to during construction. Um, so that's what we're kind of looking at. It'll be about 10 months. So we'll be looking to start in mid June. Uh, and then we'll be doing updates on the city website. So anyone who hasn't gone to the website, it's very easy. So if you don't remember my name, you don't remember anything about the project, all you got to do is well, what's that project name? Well, we're trying to figure out what's going on at Park Vista and Keller Hazlitt. And just throw on Fort Worth at the end. And first hit should be our, our project page. It's not the first hit. So your project page will come up and then my contact info will be off to the side. So you can give me, shoot me an email, give me a call. Uh, this project meeting is like Jeff was saying before, it's being recorded. So we'll upload that up to this website, pull it up at any time. And then any updates during construction, I'll be uploading them up here and it'll probably just be a PDF similar to what we're seeing here and we'll just let you know what phase of construction is coming up and when to plan for it so it's uh it's not the most ideal situation it's kind of hard to keep two-way traffic open on killer has to keep a safe construction zone for you the public and also the contractor so that's the downside on this doing it this way but It'll definitely be more inconvenient than shutting down the intersection for uh, six months at a time. And then, uh, yeah, any questions? So just a quick little presentation. Uh, hopefully, yeah, if y'all don't remember any of this, you can just Google a project. That project page will come up. Should be one of the first few hits on Google. And then, uh, yeah. Shoot me an email or give me a call anytime during construction, anytime between here and there. And hope to keep you all involved. So I see one question. Asking about a park. Uh, so there's a park around the area. Just uh, I don't have any information on that, but I will track down that information about the future park. And uh, Matt, if you want to go ahead and shoot your email. Or if anybody just wants to contact me who's interested in the park, I'll uh, I'll get back to you all when I can. But yeah, any future parks in the area, I'm not too, uh, I don't have all that info on me right at the moment.
So someone asked if uh, there's been some flooding issues in the past, and yes, we'll be adding some uh, storm drain inlets, not only with the road, but some inlets off to the side as well to capture the flooding that's outside the curbs. So any any uh, storm water that you see ponding around the area, that'll be uh, fixed as part of the project. Uh, someone asked if uh, roundabout works, and uh, we we looked at a roundabout at one point, but uh, that was that was before my time on this project. But they decided to stick with the traffic signal as part of this project. But a roundabout was considered. Someone asked, what's the estimated cost of the project? Uh, we're looking at about $2 million. Mitch, you skipped, you skipped over one and asked if the sidewalk would be extended to the intersection. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so someone asked if the sidewalk's gonna be extended to the intersection. Uh, so we'll have, we'll, we're gonna put in the crosswalk on all four corners and then anything on the south side will be done as part of the future park vista boulevard project and then anything on the north side will connect to the existing sidewalks So we do have a sidewalk on the south on the south uh, east side. I'm sorry, that will be connected. There's a future one on the southwest side that'll be built as part of the future Park Vista Boulevard. But the sidewalk on the any existing sidewalks out there today will be connected to this project. Someone asked if uh, there's any sidewalks on Killer Hazlitt in the future. Uh, it calls for some in the future, but that's not part of this project. We're just part of the intersection. So there's the ability for sidewalks to connect into it in the future, but uh, that'll be a future project, kind of like Park Vista is a future project going the other way. If Killer Hazlitt roads to be redone as a concrete road, that'll have some sidewalk as part of it in the future. Someone asked about the single direction traffic on Keller Hazlitt. So it'll just be a one way each direction, and then we'll have a left turn lane each direction. So as part of uh, the construction phasing, so there was a clarification on that question of the one-way traffic. So it'll be, as you can see, we're kind of proposing one half of the road at a time on Killer Hazlitt. So we'll be proposing one lane. That's really all that fits. So while they're working on the south side of Killer Hazlitt, we'll have one lane of traffic going one way eastbound or westbound, sorry. And then as we flip that back and forth, It'll be going westbound. So we're proposing away from the tracks. So y'all don't get trapped between construction on the one side and a 
train on the other. If anyone does have another question, they don't want to type it in the chat. Feel free to unmute. Um, it, there's there's a, a good amount of us, but not enough to cause any real issues. If anybody wants to unmute to ask questions, here's my info again. Y'all can take a screenshot, save it, or uh, yeah, like I said before, you can go to Google, go to Google and you should find that project page or my information pretty easily. Okay. Yeah, someone gave us a heads up that there's some uh, street lights out. So we will get that to our maintenance guys and have them go check it out. And Jeff, yeah, while everyone's on, uh, do you know the the number or the what's the easiest way for people to let the city know that there's issues around the city if something that needs to be addressed? Uh, sure. The the city call center, if you want to phone it in, it's 817-392-1234. Um, but we also have the My Fort Worth app, which I highly recommend uh, everyone get. It's uh, it's pretty awesome to use to send in requests or issues. Um, it logs you, it gives you a ticket number and provides you updates. Uh, super easy to use. You can even keep it anonymous if you really want to. Um, those are the two uh, easiest options. Thank you. So someone asked about the start and end time of construction. So we're looking at 10 months. Uh, we'll be starting in mid June, so be about a month from now. We're looking at that first week of June and the second week of June, and then we'll be out there, and that'll wrap up about the end of April. Uh, someone asked about the time of day schedules for activities for the crews. So our see our general timeline is usually seven or eight, and then everyone's wrapping up around five o'clock. So someone asked about the school traffic. So yeah, we'll, we'll uh, we will be working with them. I'll start getting a conversation, one on one conversation with them, and then uh, but yeah, they are right there on the corner. So we'll be working with them during construction to keep their operation moving as smooth as possible.
So someone asked about uh, if you're coming northbound on Park Vista during construction, are you going to be able to turn right on Keller Hazlitt? Uh, some of these phases, it it might allow it. It just depends. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be one way coming north on uh, coming westbound on Pillar Hazlitt. And uh, if you're used to coming up northbound, taking a right, uh, that'll be blocked off for the most part. There might be a phase in, or two in here where it allows it, but for the most part, that'll be blocked off. Uh, someone was asking about Killer Hazlitt just to confirm. So the the ultimate configuration when we're when we build the intersection can be one lane with through traffic each direction, and you'll have the left turn lane. Just during construction, just because it's a tight area, it'll be one lane of traffic going away from the tracks. So in the end, you'll be able to go as you do today, but just during construction, it'll be one lane going away from the tracks. Someone asked during construction, how would I get to the temple? Um, so we have some other avenues around town to get. So most of these neighborhoods do have a connecting street that go to Park Vista. Uh, if they don't, yeah, the best best route would be coming from 377 during construction if you're used to getting over here. But 377 will still be able to get to anywhere between Park Vista and Keller Hazlitt. You just run the risk if there's a train every now and then.
Mitch, I just posted the link to the project page on, on the in the chat. So if anybody wants to copy it, bookmark it. Once the construction actually begins, we'll be doing monthly updates uh, to that site or even sooner if we have uh, information that needs to be put out there a little quicker. Perfect. So someone asked if there's going to be detour routes clearly marked. Uh, yes, we have a. I got a whole menagerie full of uh, detour plans in the project to the contractor. So for every phase of traffic that we show on here, there's going to be a whole mess of signs put up in the area, and uh, got about 45, 50 pages full of full of uh, detours set up for the contractor to put up. So we'll have a lot of signs out there for y'all. All right. Good questions, everybody. Um, so there's my information. Take a screenshot or uh, save that uh, project page that Jeff was putting put in the chat. And then feel free to email me anytime. Uh, phone works too, but I know we all like our email. Um, so and then uh, get back to you. I'm usually pretty good about getting back within 24 hours. And then just go from there. But uh, yeah, we know everyone hates construction, but kind of a one step backwards, three steps forward type of deal. So we'll get there. And if that's it, I think we're going to close the meeting up. Yeah, everybody. <laughs>